Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Renowned Explorers. Today we're taking out a, uh, kind of an unusual crew. I know that we still haven't shown off Hojo, um, but he has an encounter token focused Captain Perk. And I think we've done encounter token focused runs a couple of times recently. I want to mix things up a little bit, and there's actually an expedition that we've never seen in this series. And I feel like the, uh, the Lost Island, the other five star expedition, is a little underserved. So, I put together this crew that should be reasonably good at both of those things. And will be collect token focused. Which is another thing we haven't done in this series. Let's, uh, let's make some money. So, um, Hattis Ataman, uh, Captain Perk, is plus 10 collect tokens at the start of each expedition, plus 2 insight if you finish the expedition with 50 collect or more. Obviously we won't be getting that on the first one, but it should be feasible on the second actually, and probably thereafter, I don't know. Uh, I've chose this group mostly because I think that they'll be good at the two with their uh, their perk groups, their natural perks. Uh, we're going to need Beguiler, and Archaeologist, and Naturalist, and Engineer, and Quick Thinker a little bit, so. Alright, let's get to it. I don't... I'm not going to pick a starting expedition. Let's roll with the punches a little bit. So like I said, I picked this crew mostly for their uh, for their perks. Not so much for combat synergy, but that said, uh, they're all very strong fighters. Uh, I think Devious is probably the way we're going to end up going a lot here. Okay, we pulled Celtic Code. That's, uh, that's fine. That's not a bad one. Well, let's get that free perk right off the bat. The outdoors are not for everyone, but walking in such a pristine landscape is bound to inspire someone to gain a passion for biology. Well, Anna is our naturalist. And she does not naturally learn biology. The tweeting birds, the little bugs, the fact that no two trees are the same, yet they might all be one family. Anna is finally grasping the beauty of it all, and gains the naturalist biology perk. Yeah, she seems like a person who would be really moved by the beauty of it all. That's sarcasm. Um, Anna's, Anna's kind of horrible. In the middle of the forest you find ruins. Yep, we've seen all the text in Celtic Code at this point, so we'll just uh, zoom through this to get to the new expedition. The, the one I haven't shown off yet, at least. So, welcome to the other world where we fairies live. Oh no, it's actually a child pretending to be a fairy. And we pick up a journalist, we pick up some study tokens. So, you can see here the 10 collect tokens that we got to start with. Part of the A big part of the value of this is that it makes you more powerful progressively throughout the game. 10 collect tokens is going to allow us to buy an extra item between 1 and 2, right? And then your collect tokens get more valuable naturally over the game as you collect people, and so between two and th between expeditions 2 and 3, maybe it lets you buy 2 items. And then you're 3 items up, so you do much better in the third expedition, and so on. Alright, so we're uh, picking up Unknown Ferns. Anna is a naturalist, but she's not really so much into plants as she is uh, electricity. She sure does love the scary power of electricity. She has a homemade taser. Which is actually very impressive, considering the time period that the game represents. Alright, we've got that hidden horde. You know we're going for a discovery token. And let's see if we got lucky with campfire stories. Well, we got a couple of crew stories. Okay, so... Uh, here you see a couple of renown focus cards. This is a pretty good one. 15 renown for each level of archaeologist that triples if they're at least level 5. Um, basically, any card that can give you... I don't know, like two to three hundred renown is a pretty good card to play in the uh, in the last expedition. This one can be really powerful. Um, I don't think that it's going to be very good for us here because I didn't really build the crew for it. Uh, but the the crew member you spend this on has to have naturalist, engineer, and archaeologist. It can be a pretty tough uh, pretty tough to do. But if you just get them to level three and everything, you get three hundred renown. It's like a pretty good card. Uh... So this will give us extra encounter tokens for resolving devious. This will let us start teaching perks right away, but I think that maybe we don't want to play this until Anna has an engineer perk. Uh, because my the idea here is that Anna's going to pick up some engineer perks, then we play the crew story, we let her teach engineer perks to Hattis, who also gets engineer perks herself, and, and Hattis ends up relatively easily becoming a level 6 ish engineer and um, we can use that on the Lost Island definitely uh, so I think we'll uh, we'll start off with this crew story I'm gonna hold this and we'll start off with this crew story get some extra tokens 
Uh, so, somebody becomes hopelessly infatuated with Maria. Well, I probably Hattis. There's a chance of gaining a perk here, right? And if Hattis is going to be getting taught stuff, like, it often is the case that you want one crew member to sort of hold all of your extra perks, and I think it's going to be her. It was bound to happen one day. Hattis is falling in love with Maria. It keeps her awake at night. That beautiful hair, wild hair, those beguiling lips. It's really messing with Hattis' head. Well, she, <laughs> she doesn't look like she's in love. She looks horrified. <laughs> it's getting slightly out of control. However, Hattis does not have the courage to walk up to Maria and ask her a risque question. Yeah, that's not, that's not a great approach. Listen, I don't know that I have game, necessarily, but that is not how I would start. Maybe this will all blow over once we move back to London. Yeah, that seems likely. Alright, so we've uh, we found the Ancient Woodlands. You know that we have a chance of getting the Will-O-The-Wisp here. Uh, I think the Will-O-The-Wisp would actually be pretty good for our party, if I remember correctly. So we've got weird... Uh, the ground is getting increasingly soft, and the air starts to smell foul. Weird rocks stand between the crooked trees. Hattis thinks you might have reached a pretty special point in this forest. Okay, well, I think, obviously, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna throw Anna at this. Fossilized remains, eh? Oh, uh, we didn't get... We didn't get the special treasure, Ah, oh. Um, I think these are all just kind of B-tier bad treasures with no particular, um, no special, uh, treasure bonuses. Yay, it's a Stegosaurus skull. Oh, this one does have a special bonus. Plus ten attack for Anna. That's interesting. I think we're gonna take the discovery token, I think he's right on. Um, plus ten attack for Anna's interesting, though. Anna has a large AoE physical attack, so 10 attack would be an extra an extra 4 damage on this. And then, of course, you know, it gets power off cooldown, so it could actually be more. The party is going to be pretty devious slash aggressive. I'm pretty torn on this, but I think we're, we're going to go for the early sort of engine play here and uh, generate more resources. Generate more resources to help us get more resources in the future. That's a good find. A fine treasure. I think they meant like, oh, that's a fine treasure. But, like, it's fine. <laughs> what I'm saying is basically it's fine. Whatever. Alright, so like I said, let's zoom through here real quick. Oh, this crew member is obsessively curious. Maria wants to save these plants for research, but Anna is getting to see what more is in the rock, albeit at the cost of destroying the, the uh, habitat. And, unfortunately, almost nothing. We, uh, we destroyed that rock killed those herbs for nothing. And Anna loses some speech defense on top of it. Alright, so we're going to, uh, we're going to eat a lot of hunger penalties here, clearly. Uh, it's not a big deal. You know, first expedition's very easy. So, yeah, let's go devious, huh? So Hattis has a, uh, range 3 physical attack, which can be very, very useful. And then we have a pair of good strong satins in these two. And some good Terrify. We don't have an Enrage, so that is going to somewhat limit the effectiveness of, uh, of our physical attacks. So you have 21 attack, you have 33. She can take a wolf down in a single hit, right? Yeah. So let's... let's do that. And you know how we do now. We, uh, we match their attitude at the beginning to get the attack bonus, and then seg over to the superior attitude over the course of the turn. <laughs> Anna threatens the wolf with electrocution, and it doesn't know what any of that means. But her voice is so convincing. You know, you know how sometimes you can just tell that someone is horrifying? You don't have to necessarily understand what they're saying to you. You can just look at that person and go, Oh, that's a crazy person. They're going to try to kill me with electricity. You never had that experience? Right, we're out of supplies. Oh no, speech power. Obviously, it's uh, it's better for us to lose defensive stats than offensive stats. Uh, so I'm a little bummed every time we take a hunger penalty that is minus offense. <clears throat> Music is coming from a meadow. There's no one in sight. It seems that the wind, in combination with some strange type of twin flower, is making the sound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're losing all of our offensive stats. Where's that supply node? Um... 
These two options are not functionally different when you have no supplies, but let's make Anna feel special. Okay, Hattis' uh, offensive stats are both nuked. Okay, speech defense I'm not too worried about. Uh, you just don't get hit that much on the first expedition because it's so easy to knock out the enemies before they uh, they get to you. That said, if you lose a bunch of offense, then uh, that might no longer be true. Yeah, see, Hattis can't get one of these guys in one hit anymore. Well, it's fine. We'll muddle through. I reckon we'll make it somehow. Aw, oh, and I can't reach that wolf. Okay, well... So... Maria has lost some speech as well, right? Okay, well, it doesn't matter, because she can only actually hit one of the wolves anyway. Wolves. Get sad. You are like a snake, I think is what's happening there. She says, she says to the wolf... I do not trust you. You are like a snake in the grass. And the wolf's like, I don't, I don't think that's warranted. This lady's real quick to, to rush to judgment, it seems like. Yeah, our, <laughs> our offense is not spectacular at this moment. Think of how many points of study we're going to have, though, after this expedition. Uh, another benefit of going for the gold stuff here is that uh, it incentivizes me to uh, to use the gold focus research tree, which we haven't done yet, uh, and it has a shop, a secret shop in it, so it'll be nice to see what's there. All right, we're going to pick up points of archaeologists because I intend to go to Egypt, probably third, and we're going to want Maria to be a level four archaeologist by the time we finish that zone. Should be possible. We're definitely going to need to get her up to this level, and then we just need to give her one level of archaeologist from a specialist and um, to buy the trinket that gives archaeologists excavation. It should be totally doable. And we are picking up new abilities. We'll, uh, we'll talk about them in a minute once we get into a combat here. An encounter, rather, because they're not all combat, right? Honestly, it's not a bad haul for the first expedition. Okay, hopefully we can, uh, we can pull off this battle against Cassandra Shafiq. Without losing any resolve, that would be nice. Um, I'm not happy that it's Cassandra, though. That's a little awkward for me. So, uh, Maria has picked up Seduce. It is a high power impress, which is valuable. Uh, right, we need lower speech defense. It does plus 25% speech and improved impress against opponents who are attracted to Maria. I don't know how to tell if an opponent is attracted to Maria. I don't know if it's just that, like, all male opponents are, or, like, or what's going on with that. Unfortunately, it would be cool. I get it's it's good flavor, but I would like it if it was mechanically a little bit clearer. Um, now, Cassandra is weak to Excite. So, Maria, unfortunately, even with, even with her lowered speech, yeah, Maria is still the, the highest speech character in our party. So we should be able to blow, um blow Cassandra up with that pretty easily if we can just get her alone. So, Hattis has the same piercing shot as Harry did, but unfortunately she never gets the ability to turn it into a cone attack. So I think we want to start this up with a friendly attack. Maria's like, we can all be friends, and also you are desperately in love with me. And then, while the henchmen are distracted by her alluring nature, we uh, we shoot a bunch of them with arrows and kill them. Hooray! Alright, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit tricky for Anna to contribute this round. Well, I guess she can run over here and buff up Maria's speech. Uh, now, the ability she picked up is a circle AoE that is... It's a little on the weak side right when it comes off cooldown. You generally want to give this a turn or two. Uh, to build up until you have some items, but fortunately, we should be able to get some items relatively quickly with this party. Uh, especially after going to Molly. Okay. So we want to end this either friendly or devious. Definitely not aggressive. I wonder if... Okay. 
Anna has an 80% chance of taking this guy down in one hit. Let's see if she can pull it off. Yeah, sure, who doesn't love... I think it's one of those Matryoshka dolls? I don't know if that's the right way to say that. So, how do I want to do this? I think let's have... Hattis stand up here. Hattis is a scout, so she's naturally fast. Um, I don't think that pulling her up here is going to make her unable to hit Cassandra next turn. And my thinking here is that I know Cassandra has an AoE attack, and I want to try to make it harder for her to hit multiple, uh, multiple of our party members. So we're also going to run Maria over here. Okay, the, uh, the friendly, the, um, the Excite next turn should be very powerful. If Maria can remain excited... Yep. Yeah, apparently I did not separate them by enough. Man, that is a huge area that that attack covers. <clears throat> okay, I think if we all go all in now, we should be able to finish this. Wow, actually, Maria can almost do it by herself, even with her speech debuffed. No, she totally can. Okay. Good enough for me. Alright, and we'll get that... Because we finished with the green, the green X result, we'll get that, like, one point of speech, I believe. Yes, we're quite kind. You want to give us research. That's true. She does give us a couple points of study as well. And speech permanently increased by one. Okay. A druid pops out of the forest, asks us what is the dream we chase, and Hattis is incredibly greedy. And, uh, and takes over. Doesn't even give me the choice. And hey, look, it's the Celtic Horned Helmet. Man, I feel like we have been doing the same thing an awful lot here. I guess we're going on an encounter token focused run anyway. <laughs> um, you know what? I often take the research because it's the one thing that encounter tokens don't give you naturally. But if we're going on a gold focused run, do I want to lean into this a little bit more? Hmm. Because it seems to me that like, this is just so powerful. Extra research is really, really good. That said, in the uh, in the research tree that we're about to start picking up, you do end up getting research from collect tokens. The question is, do I want 45... Man, 45 extra science is, like, significant. That's a lot of gold, but... Yeah, I don't think I can not take this. I think it'd be... It just feels crazy not to take that one. Okay, well apparently apparently we're always we're always in counter tokens. Whenever I don't specifically pick a starting island, we get Celtic code and end up with the Celtic horned helmet, it seems like. Uh, so we did not make it anywhere near fifty collect tokens. I didn't imagine we would. But like I said, we should actually be able to do it in Mali on our, our second expedition here. I, I believe that that should be feasible. Okay, so we came out of that with 200 research. Uh, I think we're going to end up... Oh, you know what? I can just give Maria uh, an archaeologist perk from here. We could buy this whole tree out. Uh, and then seg into engineering. So we'll pick up a tool, plus research from collect tokens plus collect tokens for our engineers succeeding on the adventure wheel. And then, um, this is what I'm most interested in. I want to see these new, these, these cool new trinkets. Epic trinkets. Very expensive epic trinkets. That's good. It's good that we'll have an outlet for all of our gold. Because as you saw last time, you do at some point reach a, reach a point normally where they're just, you can't do anything with gold. It's, you've run out of stuff to buy. Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll start down observations. The question actually is, how much do I want to spend? Okay, so Maria is going to end up with Legends and Occult. I think this is right. Rather, Do I want to... Actually, it should be relatively easy to get Maria to level 4 archaeology by buying a specialist. I wonder if I want to really lean in on Hataman, or Hattis, because we really do want to get her to level, like, a high level of engineer. It would be nice to have Anna at a high level of naturalist as well. Okay, she's going to end up with piloting, combustion, 
Anna's gonna teach her Tinkerer. Yeah, let's do that. I'm confident we can, uh... Confident we can get Maria where she's going. So, Steam Engines is one that I don't think is... Super easy to come... Oh, you know what? Automata is another one that I think only comes from one specialist. Let's go for Steam Engines. Okay. So we definitely want to buy this. This will be worthwhile. And I suppose... Uh, I mean, we want the extra supply capacity for our next expedition. This will allow us to gain extra renown from gold. It's not, like, super important that we get this right away, I guess. But... Uh, what is our crew best at? We're pretty good at cultural. Um, cultural is archaeology and diplomacy. We don't actually have any points of diplomat, but Maria can brute force some of it just because she has. she's a speaker with high base speech. Uh, technique is engineer rogue, I think. We're actually sort of... we're actually pretty good at nature challenges. We don't have... Oh, no, wait. No, we're not. Eng nature challenges, athlete, survivalist, naturalist. We have a naturalist. We're actually... our abilities are kind of spread out over all of the things. We're pretty good at wits challenges, actually. This is a... quick thinker and beguiler are both on wits. Yeah, let's do that. And then, I guess... I mean, we may as well, right? The only reason not to is that we could save it up for engineering. Now, let's just do this. Um, our gold will acquire us better deals. And then we'll go and spend... We have to spend two. Well, let's not choose yet, but I'm thinking probably what's going to happen is we'll spend in Berlin. Um, which makes this the right thing to take. And then we'll, uh, we'll just bank that for after the next expedition. But let's see if there actually is a reason for us to uh, maybe spend it on status or something. Uh, so here we have Legends or Architecture. Okay, so we'll pick up Architecture from that before Expedition 3. What else do we need? Um, it's good to have some points of athlete on this next expedition, but we can just buy the, the athlete machete, and I think that'll be good enough. I know you want some you want some quick thinker, I believe. Hattis is especially relevant uh, for a reason that, that hopefully will become clear. Hopefully we will see the thing that I'm thinking of. So yeah, let's buy the machete. Um, it should go on a person with high armor, I think, because athlete checks often care about your armor. And also, it does give bonus damage to Terrify, which makes it fit well on Emma. So, we're pretty pretty okay on perks, I think, for the next expedition. Rogue Athlete Beguiler. Okay, we don't have any Rogue. Could we buy some Rogue? This is the wrong place. Uh, it would not be that easy to get Rogue. We have to, we'd have to upgrade this place twice and then buy the guy, so... Uh, we're just gonna have to... We're gonna have to raw stat our way through the rogue challenge. Uh, so I don't think I want to pick up any of these. We can commit to deviousness a little bit more. The other thing we can do, right, is just buy, like, a couple of merchants with our status. But no, let's grab some more tokens. Rather than upgrading our tokens, let's just get more tokens. Okay, and then... Uh, we can upgrade... Well, we don't have to upgrade this shop. I already upgraded it. That's right. We can just buy, like, a couple of points of 150 armor for people. 150 defensive items, rather. Now, Hattis is a really squishy character. So we want to make sure her defenses are in a good place. I'm debating whether that means... Boots or a memento. There are a lot of very annoying speech enemies on the next expedition. Let's actually just just give her the speech defense. The um the change from twenty nine to thirty nine grit is only gonna be like six percent dodge or something. I don't know. I'm pretty torn on whether on which one of those things is the right thing. And then we'll uh, we'll armor up. Just get some reasonable defenses here. And actually, we can we can afford a. 50 point um, 
armor for Anna as well if we just sell one of these starting items. Yours. There we go. Okay, I think we're reasonably set for the next expedition. Oh, we have to spend, yeah. Let's just go ahead and do this. We'll bank a little bit of research for, uh, for the next expedition here. For after the next one, anyway. Okay. Let's do it. So, the Molly Mystery. We have not seen this yet in this, uh, in this series. A friendly approach might help, it says. You know, we'll figure it out. Listen, I have a great deal of confidence in myself. Alright, recently the world has grown interested in the cultural treasures from West Africa. A group of people little studied and understood still lives in these areas. A prosperous clan lives in a large village somewhere near. Hattis is positive that you'll find a treasure here. So, uh... We're not super well suited to the to the combat here, but I think that we will be able to muddle through just, you know, we're going to have to be a little careful. Uh, this village has not been kind to strangers. Their leader, a witch doctor, has always refused the pleas of travelers. They say he finds them boring, rude, and could not could not touch his heart. That's not 100% how parallel construction works. If you want the best results, you have to find out how to please the witch doctor. That's true, we will. Um, I think we should be pretty good at that. Hey, look, an old crate full of valuables just laying in the sand. That's neat. All right, obviously, I'm just trying to expend some of our resources before we go to the supply node, just to make sure we don't uh, waste anything. An abandoned salt mine is on your way toward your next destination. Although there's nothing useful to mine anymore, there could be some equipment found. Maybe someone could craft a useful tool out of it. Maybe. It would be neat to get a tool. Uh, do I particularly need the XP on anyone? Uh, no, not really. Let's just go for the, the most, the best odds of making the tool. Because you can never, you can never just assume, ah, my odds are good enough, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll figure it out. Let's all remember what happened last time. You see a small elephant being attacked and laughed at by hyenas. It seems they are being led by a strong female hyena. What will you do? Um, well, obviously we're going to interfere. All right. The uh, the hyenas have changed targets, which works just fine for me. Now hyenas are actually some of the more dangerous enemies that we're going to face, um, but. They're mostly weak to excite. Maria's going to be pretty good at dealing with them, and actually Anna should be okay as well. So let's have Hattis start us off with a Saturn. A strong, devious hyena, sister of the infamous Chuckles. Well, let's hope we don't have to find out about Chuckles. I really, really don't want to have to deal with that encounter. Come on, yes. If, if Hattis had done minimum damage, it actually wouldn't have been enough to take the hyena down, it looked like. So I'm <laughs> very pleased that worked out. Alright, and unfortunately, there's a chance of missing here. We got lucky, though. It's very tempting to, like, look at something that says 80% on it and be like, Oh, well, that's so likely, I may as well just assume it's going to work. Let's say, thing humans do in their brain. Uh, if that's you, don't feel bad. Everybody does it. Uh, but... The thing about 80, the number one most important thing you have to remember about 80% is that it is not 100%. <laughs> oh man, they're going after her. Okay, well that's not so bad. Look at all that speech defense paying off. Okay, so I think we we should be able to clear... Oh no, he's, he's not... he's uh, resistant to Saturn. I was going to say, I think we should be able to clear this guy out by uh, by weakening him with Hattis, but maybe that's not going to work. Well, hmm, what do I want to do here? Let's do this. We'll take the, uh, we'll take the friendly outcome here. Uh, remember, Maria's crew story does give us three campaign tokens on a friendly outcome, so it's not, uh, it's not entirely useless. Uh, it looks like the damage on these is about the same. But obviously the Terrify is guaranteed to hit. Oof, man, I don't like that sound. Hey, all game developers. We don't... Your, your, your dog is injured noise doesn't need to be so realistic. 
Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to hear that sound. I get what you're going for. Verisimilitude. Sure. But man, people don't like the sound of dogs being unhappy. Just something to think about. It's okay, puppy. Look at that. Look, everything's fine. He's like, are you sure everything's fine? Because that's not what you were saying a moment ago. The strong hyena truly feels sorry and is purring. You pet her a few times and feel that you two are bonding. After a few minutes, the hyena rounds up her cackle and they leave. But not before they lead the little elephant back to his herd. Okay, Hattis has finally plucked up the courage to make a move. But what will she say to Maria? Will she be nice or will she play games? So, listen. I know that the the pickup artist community is all into negging these days, but uh, I don't think that Maria... I don't think she's that kind of lady. I think... Uh, I, let's go straight for it. Maria is grateful for the compliment, but quickly turns away. Hattis can't really tell if that went well or if she was just boring. In the end, Hattis really doesn't know what to think. All she knows is that she likes Maria even more now. How long can she keep these feelings bottled up? So did she... Yes, she has gained 25% speech. That is significant. And also a free Beguiler perk. Alright, you see a small lake where loads of animals come to drink. You see a herd of elephants on one side and a herd of gazelles on the other. A perfect spot to refresh yourselves. I don't know that we need just a straight description of the image. We can see the image. Anybody who couldn't see the image also can't see the text, so... Alright, you knew they were around here. Caravan Raiders. There are too many to take head on, but they didn't notice you coming from around the rocks. You see some coin and an interesting document you'd like to have. Maybe you can acquire those goods quietly. Yes, maybe. I don't think I want to use my tool on this, even though the um, penalty for failure would be pretty significant, because there's something coming up that I would rather have the tool for. So let's uh, let's just take the 90%. She's not a rogue, but she's sneaky and mean-spirited like a rogue. We've been playing with a lot of characters who are jerks lately. <laughs> The bandits don't no don't notice had a sneaking past, giving the coin and the document. Boy, I have no idea what that word is. I'm as I'm assuming it's not sagol because the there's a diacritical mark over that G, but I don't know how it affects the pronunciation. The document is very interesting. It talks about a hidden hoard close to a single fat palm in the desert. Okay, single fat palm in the desert. I'm assuming that's you know telling us where the hidden hoard is, given that it said hidden hoard on it. Let's see if we can get some more supplies. You hear some yelling in the distance. Work harder, you maggots! We gotta get this haul from our turf to the port as quick as possible! It's a local warlord with a large following, it seems. There seem to be many special minds in the area. Uh, well, let's sneak around and see what he's talking about. I want I want a haul. I love hauls. You look carefully around, or you carefully look around and see a marked sack. That must be the haul he was talking about. As the warlord starts uh, fighting with some workers, an opportunity arises to steal it. And it encourages the theft. The warlord deserves it. That's probably true. Now, mm, I might tool this just because the payout here is so good. I wouldn't... Honestly, I'm not too worried about that penalty. It looks like a bad thing, but um, the enemies in this area are very speech-focused, so losing armor is not, it's not that bad. Uh, but I really, really want all those tokens. Yeah, I'm going to tool it. Let's go for it. Remember, our goal is to get to 50. Skillfully, she sneaks into the Warlord's camp and snatches the Mark Sack. When someone sounds the alarm, the Warlord is furious. Where are my diamonds? Search the area! Yeah, you're not you're not catching me, buddy. It seems there are more special minds here than you thought. Indeed. Don't worry, I'm prepared for special minds. Alright, let's tell a campfire story. So, Hattis' merchant family gives us plus two collect whenever we spend insight with a level two quick thinker, which Hattis already is at the beginning of the game. I think we'll probably keep that and play that next expedition, but let's start up on Professor Proskuryakova. And teach Hattis some things. Anna thinks it's important for the crew to learn about the natural sciences and engineering. After all, science is mankind's most important pursuit. Anna thinks Hattis is, is especially undereducated and ponders on her teaching style. I don't know what Hattis would respond best to. Uh, you know what? This one has tokens attached to it. I'll be stern. If you're going to teach her, you better make sure she gets it right. Anna walks up to Hattis and tells her that her lack of scientific knowledge is simply unacceptable, and that she should start listening to Anna right now. 
Okay, jeez, I'm on it. Anna leaves no room for response. Intimidated by the scary scientist, Hattis grabs the closest book and starts studying. Hattis does grow a bit scared of Anna. Anna takes out her taser and points it toward Hattis. She's gonna pass Anna's test or else she'll get the taser. That should motivate her. It helps, because Hattis has learned all about being a tinkerer. And it will surely teach Hattis even more in the coming adventures. Teach is a strong word for what is happening here. But hey, free perks. Look at that. We're killing it. So we really want to hit this node, but I also want to go to this village. Um, we'll work our way around. We'll come back to the village. This node's important. I believe this is the... Yeah, this is the, the hut. We need this. A lonely lady is trying to move around furniture in her small hut. This would have been a good thing to save the tool for. Uh, oh, hey there. I was trying to... I guess we just walked into her house and she's fine with it. Oh, hey there. I was trying some new house decoration, but moving my wardrobe and bed around is so hard. Well, you could help her, but the small hut gives you little room to move. You have to be athletic to make it work. You know what? I'm going to go for it. One point of resolve is not so bad right now. And I mean, this is north of 50%. It is a fair number of tokens. Let's try it. The secret technique that the... Oh, we failed. <laughs> the secret technique that is mentioned in the tooltip there is part of getting the best outcome at the uh, the final boss encounter. But I think we can get around it by having a high-level beguiler. But I think Maria, even being a level 2 beguiler, might be able to uh, evade that check. So we should be fine. Anna was having trouble with the heavy wardrobe and thought it was a good idea to swing it a little to create momentum. Well, that was a bad idea. The wardrobe falls against the wall, which can't keep up with the weight, and collapses. Anna doesn't know how to get away fast enough, as the lady is shocked with agony. The lady is shocked with agony? What does that mean? <laughs> so we lost a resolve and didn't get the thing we were looking for, and I'm bummed. You arrive at a small tribal set settlement and are invited to stay the night. The tribe invites you to participate in a ritual to prove strength and courage. This year's challenge is walking on burning coals. You know what, Anna? You got, a, you got a lot to make up for, lady. Get to it. She failed. <laughs> Ugh. Things are not going that well. Anna walks barefooted toward the starting line of the coal parkour, while the others join the tribesmen in some chanting. She takes a deep breath and walks over the burning coals, but after two seconds starts screaming and runs toward a bucket of water. The tribesmen laugh. They're not very impressed. Yeah, it's not going super well. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said it was going super well. An exhausted woman is dragging herself through the desert. When she sees you, she waves and comes up to you. Dear explorers, I got separated from my caravan and I'm incredibly thirsty. Could you spare me some water? Hattis gets to decide. Oh, man. I don't want to give her supplies, but I do want collect tokens. Also, Hattis will gain speech if we extort this poor woman. Well, I guess let's roleplay. The lady quickly accepts. Uh, she has turned into a different person. Of course I will pay you for the water. It's a rare commodity here, you know? After she's done, she continues her search for her caravan. Okay, well... That was weird. A miner crosses your path. Foreigners, are you too looking for gold or even the amazing Crystal Mountain? You greedy foreigners are all the same. Oh, we're just looking to take all your cultural treasures. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. The miner tool is pretty useful, and obviously I want the uh, I want the supplies. We have not had very good luck with these rolls so far, but uh, you know, sixty percent is is fair. The miner is more at ease with Maria's diplomatic approach. Thanks for the gesture. If you're looking for gemstones here, you won't be disappointed here. That's okay. It's fine. Take my specialized mining gear. It will yield better results and open up new possibilities. Great, but he seems to be hiding something more. So let's really lay it on. The miner is convinced of Maria's important mission and leans close. Well, since you're so charming, I'll tell you a little secret. I know the location of most mines, including the amazing Crystal Mountain Mine. I'll mark it on your map. And we get a secret token. Oh no, it's all the way across the zone. Well, we have seven supplies. We'll be fine. Okay, so every X uh, is going to yield better payout than it otherwise would have because we have the mining tool. And the mining tool is going to help us get in here and get seriously paid. So it, uh, it is very important that we go over there. But let's try to let's get some more supplies if we can. A bountiful place. The crew is tired, but you feel someone might uh, might find some supplies with some effort. Um, Anna doesn't have any grit anyway, right? Yeah, okay. So there's no penalty to failing this check. 
Well, okay, there's an opportunity cost. We could just take a supply. I'm going to roll the dice. 46% is not so bad. Hey, we got there. Alright, and a dog through the heat and found some extra edible plants for supplies. Fantastic. This is maybe um, not the optimal wording for this thing. Okay, so plus one study whenever you enter a nature challenge for the first time, or Anna's surrounding enemies gain plus one terrified each turn. I don't know that I really care about making things more terrified. Um, this definitely does have an application uh, due to our low, de low defenses. Maria and Hattis both have pretty poor defenses, so lowering people's attack all the time is, is something valuable, perhaps. But, that said, um, yeah, I think we're going to take this one. It's more resources, and while this is valuable, it also does mess with our ability to keep people sad, which might be more beneficial, you know, when we're facing speech-focused uh, enemies and stuff. And then, like, if Maria uh, fires her excite, or her impress at somebody, I don't want them to run over to Anna during their turn, and then at the beginning of Anna's turn lose the excitement because they got terrified, or, you know. I think that was a f reasonable choice, I think. Okay, so how do I want to do this? We could sort of spiral around. Because I'd like to hit all of the mining nodes if possible. Yeah, let's, let's go around the outside and then into this village and sort of like that. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That might be a new encounter. The crew sets up camp where some plants are growing. There must be a freshwater well nearby. One person can go look for the well while the others keep guard and prepare for the night. Uh, minus five attack. Yeah, that's not such a big penalty. Let's go for it. Oh man, Anna is making up for her earlier failures in a big way. Anna finds a huge rock from under which a little flow of water is coming. After lifting the boulder up, she finds a freshwater spring. This freshwater will surely lighten the crew's spirits. Yeah, I'm 100% sure I've never seen this before. It has a nature challenge. Let's hope it's a, uh, let's hope it's a naturalist challenge. What a fantastic piece of architecture. Before you is some sort of fort or village made of clay. The large walls prevent you from seeing what's going on inside. You walk up the large walls hoping to find some entrance. Sadly, the gates are shut tight, and there isn't anyone answering Hattus' calls. Myste mm, excuse me. Mysterious. There seems to be only one way up. Someone needs to climb up that wall and secure a rope. Aw, oh, man. Hattus is willing to do it because she's brave, but she's also very poorly suited. <laughs> well, I mean, let's go for it. Minus 10% speech would be a bummer, but I'm very curious. I'm curious enough that I'm willing to, uh, willing to brave the penalty. Yeah. Anna's firing on all cylinders in his last couple of nodes. Alright, Anna's climbed the wall with the tenacity of a walrus. You know, walruses are well known for their tenacity while climbing, and the grace of a majestic mountain goat. At the top, she secures a rope so the others can rope so the others can follow. A job well done. It seems you've arrived in a protected village of some sort. The crew barely enters it when you hear a footstep storming toward you. Hey, hey! Some strangers found a way past our defenses! Thank you for showing our weakness! But we can't just let them get in here and rob us of our treasure. Whoa, easy on the assumptions there. Who said we're here for treasure? I mean, we are. But that's not cool. It's not cool to just assume that. Listen, we're horrible people. But don't just assume that. <laughs> Alright, so we definitely want to end friendly. Yeah, the inhabitants will chase us away if we are not friendly. That's fine. We're good at friendly. So, oh man, there's a lot of them, though. Alright. This dude is not weak to excite. That is a cry in shame. Alright, so you have three move. You're not going to be able to get adjacent to him no matter what you do. Ah, but she can just take him down with one of these. A little bit of that. <laughs> Shockingly, he was okay with that. Who could have predicted? Uh, so, remember, we can't fire a piercing shot when we're adjacent to an enemy. I think this is a fine thing to do. Let's even up the odds a little bit. 
All right, we're probably going to have to go friendly from here on out to, <laughs> to make this a friendly finish. Well, you can't get adjacent to this guy anyway, right? This guy has an area effect attack. But he won't be able to get anybody this turn. I don't want to make this guy friendly. Or, uh, I, don't, I don't want to make this guy excited right before his turn. Let's let's do this instead. Let's make her excited. I'm sure we can deal with these two guys on this coming turn and then uh, be all clear of enemies by the time the guys to the east get over to us. Such confidence. They're fools. I mean, our physical attack's so much better. Alright. Alright, well, Hattis does have confidence as her friendly attack, so she might be able to bring this guy down. Okay, cool. And unfortunately, I, sh I should have moved her, because now we're all lined up for the AoE. <laughs> That said, I really want Anna to end her turn adjacent to Hattis. If I stand over here, maybe he won't be able to get all three of us? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They swapped to a superior mood, or a superior attitude. Nope, he got all of us. Okay, it's fine. That wasn't so bad. Uh, so Maria... Actually, Anna needs to move. So that Maria can get in over here and give this guy what for. Alright, so we're at three points. Yeah, we, we managed to move over to friendly. Well, that's not great. We might lose a point of resolve here. Okay, Hattis comes through in the clutch. Our team's been doing a lot of that lately. Villagers are very pleased with your friendly approach. Wow, thanks for all those kind words. We're the Dogon people. We have some important rituals, like showing appreciation to the people you meet. Please come with us. We'd like to introduce you to Hogan, our leader. <clears throat> the crew follows the group of villagers until they're introduced to their spiritual leader, the Hogan. Welcome, strangers. First, you show us how to improve our defenses. Then, you appreciate and respect our kind ways. You are very welcome in our middle. Okay, a society that's all about giving compliments. I guess that works for us. Also, a feast. I dig a feast. The feast is a nice afternoon party. There are musicians and masked dancers. Marie even goes out of her way to join in the dance. Meanwhile, the Hogan addresses the Captain Hattis. How's, how's are you enjoying the feast? Uh, I think we really... Hmm, they'll give us more food. But, like, their whole thing is compliments, right? We should say the compliment. There's a treasure on the line here. I'm glad you appreciate our effort. You know, we've been a, you've been an exemplary guest. I'd like to give you a gift. We got it through trade with a faraway tribe, and as a token of friendship, I believe it should be passed on to you. Oh hey, a treasure. I was totally not expecting that. And hey, we still got a supply. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never seen this treasure before. Plus 8 to 10 research from treasure hunt tokens? That's interesting. Yeah, let's take that. We're going to get research from our collect tokens, too, so we can just go full in on the gold tokens and still have enough research to complete a couple of uh, branches of the research tree. Yeah. That's a weird bonus. I've never seen that before. The crew stayed for the night and then went on to go exploring again. How nice to meet such nice people all around the globe. But why the walls? Maybe they have a history with that witch doctor. Things are going okay. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. Hey, it's a small gold mine. Let's, uh, we could get two collect tokens or four collect tokens. We are at 32 now. Things are going all right. Things are, things are going well. Oh, an audit committee for the witch doctor approaches you. Hmm, you seem moderately interesting. Maybe you would like to enlist on the waiting list for those who can amuse our leader, the witch doctor. He might give you some reward for your foreign tricks. Waiting time is five months. Yeah, I don't have five months. So let's, uh, Maria. Do your thing. The villagers are pretty excited. Whoa, Maria, you sure are something. 
Say what? We'll make sure you only have to wait two months. Isn't that great? Yeah, we don't... Okay. Let's convince them some more. You know what? We're bumbling through this being friendly thing pretty well. In, if I say so myself. So if we end this friendly, it will help us in the uh, the boss encounter. If we end it devious, it will not. And if we end it aggressive, uh, may maybe it will. I think it's a 25% chance to go positively. Uh, I can't quite get all four of them with it. Well, I probably shouldn't get all four of them with it anyway. <laughs> so let's remove... Oh, she can't remove that guy. I was trying to make it so that Maria would be able to get adjacent to this dude. But maybe we'll just do our Impress, which has a little bit more range than the Excite. We'll open up this way. Now the question is, how do I want to lower their numbers? They're strong against Saturn, but I'm worried that if I take two of them down with the physical attack, that we won't be able to get back to Dominant Friendly. I could just take one with the physical attack. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. You know, Hattis still has ways to contribute. Even when we're being friendly. Alright, I know this isn't great, but we have bonus uh, speech defense, and he can't get to Hattis, so we'll, I'm sure we'll make it. I'm sure we'll be okay. Everybody likes everybody. This is such a friendly expedition. Friendly fun. I don't know if that's exactly how I would describe what he's feeling right there, but, uh, okay. Right. Obviously, we are not in any danger at all here. Aw. That's okay. Get all the get all the bad rolls out of your system now before we get to Crystal Mountain. He has to make sure that everybody's feeling confident before the end of the, uh, the encounter. He has very strong feelings about this, clearly. Alright, well we're going to leave here with an awful lot of status, it seems like. The villagers are utterly impressed. We have to admit, you're pretty cool. Especially you, Hattis. You're like, the best person, like, ever. We'll make sure that you can get an audit whenever you come. I chose kind of like a... a that's supposed to be like a stuffy socialite voice. It doesn't really go well with all the likes. Um, so we want to hit the mine. And we probably don't want to come back. Like we probably want to come out of here. Oh yeah, we definitely want to take the zero cost path out of here. So let's hit the mine now. Or actually, let's go to this node, then hit the little mine. Then we'll go to the big mine. Are we close to a level? We are. So how this could gain some stats here on our way in. A group of scared elephants is coming toward you. Hattis leads the crew through the incoming herd. By timing correctly and thinking quickly, she manages to get everyone safe on time. Dude, I cannot imagine how dead you would be if an elephant stepped on you. That seems like a very... That seems like a more more than dead kind of dead to me. So, plus six attack while we're devious, or plus one collect whenever Hattis succeeds on the wheel. That's actually really interesting. We're probably going to spend a lot of time being devious. Uh, that said, this is going to be a significant number of tokens. Yeah, let's do it. We're being greedy. This is the greedy run. Okay. Let's go get paid. Alright, so the entrance of this cave has collapsed and is sealed off by a thick wall. That's fine. With Hattis' might, you burst in. Once inside, a surprise awaits you. The cave is full of weird materials. One vein of glowing stones is particularly interesting. Someone might start mining and researching. Uh, interestingly, there's two discovery tokens on the line? Wow. I'm so glad we brought a naturalist. With the use of some specialized tools, Anna could figure out the powerful nature of these materials. From now on, they will be called Proscuracovium. Proscuracovium. Yeah, I did that right. Covaium. After Anna's done, the crew moves out. Yeah, that was pretty spectacular. This is like a pretty good payout for the second expedition. I'm feeling alright. Feeling okay about it. 
All right, this must be the Crystal Mountain. The spoils inside its dangerous caves are rumored to be numerous. <clears throat> All right, so Hattis can get through even without the mining tools. This is what I was talking about earlier when I said she's uniquely suited to the challenge that we're going to face. Um, and it is going to be Hattis who goes in. We'll, we'll let her use her special here. Hattis boldly squeezes in first. Once inside, she's awestruck. What an amazing cave! Crystals larger than horses are all around. But then disaster strikes. The cave is collapsing. Just your adventurer's luck. The way back has already collapsed. There might be much to find here. But being inside when the cave collapses will be absolutely disastrous. Hattis needs to think fast. Uh... Hmm... I'm... That's... Good pay... Man, that's a lot of research, dude. <laughs> a discovery and a treasure hunt at this point. It's a lot of research and a lot of gold. I don't remember exactly what the coming challenge is. I'm pretty sure it requires... I'm pretty sure it benefits from Quick Thinker, which is why we sent Haddis in. You know what? Let's run. Let's try to make sure that we get the treasure. That's what. I, that's what's most important. There's no time to look at shiny things. Haddis's life is on the line. With great haste, she starts looking for an exit. The rumbling is getting intenser. Haddis needs to start hurrying. Oh, it's Athlete and Survivalist, not... Mm, I misremembered. Oh, no, this isn't the, the final one. However, had to seize a little chance to make so, to get some more valuable crystals by making a big jump. A dangerous endeavor that might give you a valuable experience. We are at 39 collect items. Okay. Boy, I hope we don't fail this, because I do not need the odds for the coming challenge to decrease. I'm glad that I didn't get greedy on that last, uh, that last choice, though. Go for it, Hattis. I believe in you. Oh, I shouldn't have believed. You fool. Oh dear. She is not athletic enough to make the jump and gets hit by a falling rock. With an injury and precious time wasted, Hattis quickly searches for an exit. Okay, minus five attack, I'm not too worried about. There it is, the exit's in sight. If you start running, you might make it unscratched. Uh, we get a bonus from her being very greedy. Yeah, I, I would have been totally fine, I think, to take the minus 25%. Well, actually, this is 25 plus 60 plus 15. Actually, it's just barely 100%. So if we had taken the minus 25% thing for the extra tokens, there's a... Somewhat significant chance we could have whiffed the the treasure. What an amazing find! The twinkling was a magnificent diamond, bigger than you've ever seen. With some quick and daft moves, Hattis wedges the diamond out of its sockets. They probably I'm sure they meant daft. Absolutely astonishing. Okay, so gain one collect for each two collect tokens you've gotten so far is probably the way we're going. It's another twenty collect tokens. Yeah. Yeah, I think we gotta do that. We could also get four treasure hunt tokens. I mean, I want to make sure I get to 50 collect, right? Four treasure hunts is like 240 something gold, probably, plus research and status. 20 collect tokens is less. Yeah, the treasure hunts are the way to go, unless I think I won't... You know, I really do want the two insight. Hmm. It's actually kind of tough. Four treasure hunts is... Look, that's a lot of payout. You know what? We're going to do it. Okay, we'll have us dodge the debris and escape in time. I sure hope so. I don't want to go down to one resolve. Okay, I did remember correctly, though. Quick Thinker does does really pay in. Oh, okay. Ooh. She did it! With impressive strength and agility, she manages to speed out of the cave. You're safe! What an adventure! When Hattis is reunited with the rest of the crew, she tells them all about the wonders of the Crystal Mountain, which they have just seen collapse all around her. The crew is happy with the renown you'll be awarded, but can't help be but to be jealous of Hattis' adventure. Okay, so we gotta get... Um, we gotta get nine more... Or seven more collect tokens the old-fashioned way. But there's a lot of stuff between here and, uh, and the exit. As you walk through the jungle, you can't help but feel you're being followed. After a few hours, you're surrounded by tribesmen with spears. One steps forward and he looks angry. The tribesman yells at you for walking so carelessly through this dangerous jungle. They followed you for, two, for hours and killed two cobras and a wildcat who came towards the sound you're making. Okay, um, like I said, I think we're going to collect all of our just like loose perks on Hattis. And also, generally, rogue checks give you a bonus for being a scout. So it fits uh, fits particularly well on her. All right, Hattis learned how to move without making a sound. Hopefully, you'll attract less attention from wild animals now. Yeah, so we don't... 
we have five supplies. So we go four, three, two. I really want to hit this. Four, three, two, one out. Okay, yeah, so we'll sweep around here. It's a little bit of a bummer not to be able to pick up the, um, the XP, but uh, we'll do. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Faint laughter is coming from a distance. You have a fear of hyenas. I have gained that recently. But curiosity gets the better of you. As you sneak closer, you see a small village with people gathered around a campfire. You listen for a while and notice they're having some sort of joke festival where they keep telling jokes. When one of the tribesmen tells a dirty joke about a guy ending up in nothing but smelly underwear, and I can't help but think of Rivalu and laughs hysterically. You're noticed by the tribe and they invite you to join in and tell a joke. Okay, well, I think uh, Anna doesn't have the sense of humor perk, but she does have a 99% chance to pass this check. And yeah, she's she's behind in level and could use a little bit of catch up, so. Right, and the prize is a treasure hunt token, which is pretty fantastic. Maria tells the funniest joke and the whole town is laughing. One guy cannot even contain his drink that pours out of his nose. At the end of the evening, you're awarded the best joke of the year award. Okay. Still need black tokens. I guess the question is, how comfortable do I feel eating a point of um, hunger penalty? Because we could go three supplies, two, one, hunger penalty, and get out. And that would, I mean, we hit a bunch of gold nodes. We get the XP from this, so Maria levels up. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the chance. The one hunger penalty uh, hopefully will not be debilitating. You encounter another explorer, Virginia James, the American Strider. Howdy, Hattis. Funny to see you here. I'm pretty busy, so I can't stay to chatter with you. Maybe she's looking for the same village you are. She doesn't care to answer you. Some super awesome treasure. Posse, could you explain to our colleagues that it's futile to look for treasure now that I'm here? She leaves while her posse starts trying to convince you to go away. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. Listen here, Virginia James. I'm not afraid of your hat. That's a cool hat. No, wait, it's not a cool ad. I'm not impressed by you. Okay, um, it's just the four of them? Uh, when they're friendly, they can lower our speech. Yeah, we'll be fine. So you have 30 speech defense, 36 spirit. And you're weak to impress. Alright, let's try to make it so that this one can't contribute to combat this turn. So we'll move away from her. Those are pretty dope hats, I'm not gonna lie. I can't do it, I just can't- I can't pretend not to be impressed by these hats. Uh, yeah, well, we'll have Hattis do what she always does. Things start off friendly, then Hattis surprises somebody with an arrow in the face. And then, remarkably, we're always able to smooth it over by the end. <laughs> Nobody's ever like, hey, you shot me, what the hell? <laughs> but by the end, they're always like, yeah, no, you're right, I deserve that. I'm very curious what exactly is going on in the speech that Anna gives people. It causes them to be like, Matryoshka dolls? That's great! <laughs> Maybe she's telling them a story about her childhood or something? Yeah, Mar Maria is going to drag us kicking and screaming through this expedition. I don't think Anna can actually get close enough. Okay, so Anna will just move to here and buff Hattis' speech. Okay, we should be... We should be pretty, uh... Wow! She just shot me with a gun. That seems unnecessary. Yeah, we'll be fine. This, this, this is enough to make friendly dominant. You get a lot of points for being, uh, in the attitude at the end of the fight. The posse tells you all they know. No, no, don't leave. The Mask of Madness is rumored to be around here. To be fair, we don't know if the Mask of Madness is in the area. We're just scouting, but just, look, just don't leave because we said so before, okay? Aw, they love us. Okay, well, we got that level for Anna, or for Maria. So, Sadden gains bonus power against impressed targets, and will have a very strong Sadden effect, or targets of Seduce gain minus 25% attack. I think I want to go for this. Um, this probably just is not going to be that relevant. Seduce has a pretty low, or a pretty long cooldown, you don't get to use it all that often. 
Uh, a lot of fights didn't even go three turns. And being able to blow people up more effectively is a good thing. <clears throat> okay. So, unfortunately, this only connects to a couple of nearby nodes. Alright, a lucky find. The skeleton of a camel lies partially buried in the sand. It must have been a caravan camel, because it's loaded with valuables. Alright, so if we get at least four tokens from this, and I think we will, given our mining tools. Hey, we struck a gold vein. There you go. Oh, did I miscount? We're taking two hunger penalties. That's less good. Oh, hey, it's the Hidden Horde. Cool. Um, actually... Hmm, maybe I just want to take a treasure hunt because our treasure hunt tokens are pretty good. Man, we're going to have a lot of equipment for this third expedition. No, I, we still want the science, I think. Come on, speech defense. I'm not super happy with loss of speech defense because we're about to fight some enemies that speak pretty hard. Alright, this is it. The Witch Doctor Village. Maybe Hattus and the crew will be able to get a rare local treasure for your collection here. Yeah, maybe. Seems to be the way things usually work out. What a unique village. The villagers are all gathered around the central place where an event is taking place. Um, the developers repeat words and sentences a lot, which maybe is not a weird thing in a lot of languages, but in English it does sound a little strange, doesn't it? We, we usually try to avoid that. Ah, these people are boring, and I will not give them a treasure. Send them away! That must be the witch doctor. You're right. The witch doctor just sent the other two explorers away. He turns his eyes to Hattis, obviously annoyed that another person has come to audit. Ugh, another annoying group of scallywags. Go away, you're not getting anything. Maria might have some words to say about that. Just like with most old people, Maria has to put in a lot of effort to make a point. I don't know if that's fair. But after a few minutes of loud conversation, the witch doctor is at least stalled. Hmm, okay, well, let me consider... The witch doctor turns to his audit committee. Are these young folks on the list or something? Are these people amusing in some way? Well, it turns out these guys love us, so that works out for us. The audit committee puts in a good word for you. They tell the witch doctor how strong your personality is and that he should hear you out. It seems your previous approach has benefited you. The witch doctor turns to you again. Ugh, okay, fine. Amuse me. Uh, I thought Anna would have a thing, or I thought Maria would have a thing here. Um, Haddis does a little dance? The Witch Doctor is not amused. This is all very, very boring. I thought maybe you could bring in something special, but you're just like all those other beggars looking for treasure. Please go away. Alright, we, uh, we tried to convince him it didn't go so well. The Witch Doctor has had enough of you. Stop being so entitled. Check your privilege. I don't even want to talk with these arrogant fools anymore. Villagers, boo these pesky foreigners away. The witch doctor refuses to engage, but the villagers are ready to scold you away. What a shame. So if you, um, if you succeed at the moving the lady's furniture around in her hut challenge, she teaches you a special massage technique that gets you past that last, uh, that last bit where he's bored. Uh, the massage convinces him to fight you. Uh, and then he fights you in the hope of getting more massages. It doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, I guess, but that's what happens. Um, and that gives you access to a better treasure. We'll still get a treasure, but it's not going to be the good one. It's fine. It's fine. We've done very well here. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too upset about getting the lesser treasure. All right. Does Maria have enough speech to bring one of these guys down in one? She doesn't, right? Yeah. This is going to be rough. This is going to be a, a bit of a rough fight. So as always, we have the ability to. Uh, Soften them up a little bit with Hattis. I wonder if I should just zap this dude with the taser. Ah, it still wouldn't take him down. But, I mean, that said, it also doesn't give him more speech power. It's gonna be a long fight. And since the uh, since the good treasure is not on the line, I don't know that it actually matters um, for the terms of the in the terms of the treasure, which outcome we get. So it gives you a treasure no matter what. Um, but obviously, there's a the largest number of tokens is attached to the friendly outcome here. So all right, good. 
That hitting means that we can send Maria over here and deal with this guy. So, no more AoE damage. Then we pull Haddis back to here and just shoot this guy with an arrow. Because Haddis needs to not get uh, attacked by three people on this next turn. So you can see, doing a single aggressive um, kill, it's not a kill, but you know what I mean, uh, dropped all of the points of friendly that we had built up in the attitude change. Um, and it's definitely going to hurt us a lot. They're doing a really good job of staying just out of range of Maria. It's a frustratingly good job. Mm, should I do this? Yeah, screw it. Okay. I think we're going to have to audible into a devious finish, because I don't think we have the ability to get the other finish done. I, just, I don't think we can pull off a friendly... Okay, so we move to here, and we use Sadden on this guy. We might lose a point of resolve still, but we won't lose more than one. And we'll cycle through friendly on this guy and try to take him down that way. We might be able to do it. Okay, so let's have... Hmm... How about we have Hattis get Maria up? My thinking here <clears throat> is that I would like to do a friendly attack that is guaranteed not to be lethal. And then we follow it up with Maria. Just so that we end the fight in friendly and this gives us the best chance of actually pulling off the friendly victory. So how do we end up? Six, three, seven. Okay, we did it, actually. Just barely. The Witch Doctor is still annoyed, but also mildly impressed. Ugh, okay, fine. Have the seated couple statue. I don't like it anyway. Yeah, it's okay. You get an extra two collect when resolving friendly. Um, that's not a bad... It's not a bad bonus, actually, but... I don't think that we are gonna want to try to be friendly all the time. We're really not that well suited to it. Two treasure hunt tokens, though, sounds pretty good. Plus one to two gold from collect. We're gonna get a lot of collect over the course of the game. But the two treasure hunt tokens gets us a lot of value right now. Which will make us better at getting value in the future. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, with the treasure in hand, you leave the village. Anna brags that you really showed that witch doctor what the renowned explorers are all about. That's true. We, uh, we convinced him that we were friends. We impressed him, but we also killed half his village. And if that's not what we are all about, I don't know what is. Um, the treasure that you get for fighting the actual Witch Doctor, if you can convince him to do the encounter with you, is much better than this. Much, much better. So I'm pretty bummed that we didn't, uh, we didn't manage to pull that off, but... You know, win some, lose some. You cannot always pass all the checks. Unless you do a lot more optimization work than I do. And on the whole, our payout here is actually really good. We did very well. Yeah, that is a lot of tokens for the second expedition. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel bad about that at all. Um, so we probably want... We want the New Orleans Equipment Shop, because again we've gone devious. Or again we've gone speech-focused. Devious, but speech-focused. Um, so those books would be nice, and we actually can afford them. The Entourage Hall in Constantinople is not a bad one, certainly. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, engineering. So first of all, research from collect tokens. Secondly, hidden uh, hidden treasures. Good stuff. Um, we don't have enough study to finish the tree, but we could. I'm sure. Yeah, we have four insight left over. So let's um, let's assume that we'll finish the tree. This unlocks the Sydney equipment shop, so that's cool. It gives us access to all of the trinkets, since we just uh, we just chose to pick up the other shop. Um, we will. I mean, this is more important, obviously. But I think we're gonna do them. We're gonna do them both here. 
So 25 to 40 research, this is going to average at like 32, four times. Yeah, that's way more than what we need, right? Actually, we need almost 100. It's, it's more than what we need, but it's not way more. Uh, I think that let's let's do it. I Honestly, this is mostly curiosity about what is in the secret shop. Okay, we might get it here. And if we do, then we could potentially... Yeah, we got we got pretty lucky. We got high payouts on all of those. All right, so we are at sixteen percent of our gold as renown. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for this point in the game. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, secret shop in Sydney. I'm very curious. Okay, those are very expensive. It starts max level. Gain rogue mischief and then more rogue points for more speech. Okay. These are really neat. So if your stats are good, uh, this says evasion instead of grit, they should correct that. Um, if your stats are really good, these trinkets give you a ton of points of perks in a single per uh, trinket slot, which is very valuable. Oh, it has special armor too. Powerhouse, okay. So extra defensive items that have perks attached to them in addition to having a ton of stats on them. And actually some offense as well as just a ton of defense. That's really cool. Yeah, wow, this is a really, really cool shop. Um, I don't think we're going to use it now. Obviously our stats are a little bit low. But uh, this will definitely be valuable to us as we focus on gold and generate just huge amounts of it. So let's uh, go to the San Fran Saloon. Obviously, pay out from tokens is a good thing. Uh, so we need to get Maria to level 4 Archaeologist by the end of the next expedition. I think it's perfectly reasonable to expect to get 14 XP. So we need to have her be a level 3 Archaeologist before we leave this menu. Shouldn't be too hard. First of all, we're definitely picking up Trowel and Broom. Uh... Lowers the speech defense of adjacent opponents. That will be very relevant to us. Uh, and then there is a guy that we can hire to teach her. Dr. Eligard, a lady, I suppose, that we can hire. So let's do that. We'll give her architecture. Cool. Okay. She's all set. So we still have a lot of money and status. Things are going well. Get a treasure hunt whenever you resolve an encounter in the attitude of your choice. Unfortunately, I do not think it makes sense to try to spend enough insight to get to a thousand status. How much how much do we get from 30 to 45 from the one insight that we have spare? Honestly, it's probably better to spend it on research tokens, or maybe it might be good to do gold. I'm thinking we could spend it on research tokens and just bank the research. But this wouldn't be bad. Let's let's see if we need a little bit of extra money before we spend that. Okay, so... Campaign from Devious, collect from Devious. We probably just want to pick up more perks, I think. Oh no, we want to... Sorry, we want to do this. We want to pick up more perks and also token payout. So we could upgrade and get more research from Collect, plus a level of Tactician. I don't think Archaeologist Excavation is what she gets from the, uh, the Trinket. And we want to keep this Trinket on her anyway, because the effect is valuable. Um, so we get Tactician Weapons Expert, plus research on our Collect. Or status on our Collect, plus a point of Athlete or Quick Thinker. Uh, now, Egypt does tremendously benefit from having... Oh, man. We're actually pretty poorly suited for Egypt's challenges. Athlete Survivalist Rogue. You know what? We should probably stack up some more points of Athlete on Anna. Because actually, Athlete is, is pretty relevant. So we can do that, right? Yeah, we'll give her stamina. Okay. The Nameless Loner, who everyone calls Dirt, an expert gunslinger from the desert, wants to teach one of you stamina or nimble. Oh, you know what, Stamina? Ah, oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Stamina's the one that you get from the thing. Well, shoot. I done goofed. Everybody, I did it. I goofed. 
I guess we'll just give Haddis another point of quick thinker. I'm not... I'm embarrassed. Okay. Well, she's a quick thinker. No doubt about that. Uh, we could pick this up. It wouldn't take... Well, we go down to 162 from upgrading. And then we'd have to generate 140 status through insight spending. I don't think that's worth doing. No, that'd be too many points of insight. Uh, so what could we do with our insight instead? We could do this. We could pick up Lady Viduva. We could also just pick up some helpers. Uh, no, let's let's grab Lady Viduva. That's fine. So an extra campaign token. Yeah. Devious outcome is... Okay, it's pretty good. So, money. We have money to spend. Let us spend some money. We want to buy some more points of defenses, but we shouldn't neglect our offense. Just flipping through the trinkets real fast here. Now, the trinkets at the Sydney shop that we've opened up give spirit, naturalist, rogue, some more piloting. Gain plus 10 attack when the mood is hostile. Hostile is, uh... Is hostile aggressive-aggressive, or is that aggressive-friendly? I don't remember. Either way, this could be could be relevant. We give an extra point of athlete to Anna. Uh, a little bit of survivalist would not go awry. Adjacent allies gain plus 20 armor. This is pretty cool. Athlete, survivalist, and that effect. Uh... Gain 20% of your grit as attack. That's interesting. Especially, it gives... Oh, it gives Engineer, but it gives... No, I didn't end up taking Automata. So actually, we probably want to get this for Hattis. It, it doesn't need to be right now. But we probably want to do that. 15% of your speech to your speech defense. That's not bad. And plus hit chance and lots of points of Diplomat. Hmm. So I don't think we need any of these, like, urgently. Naturalist, Diplomat, some stuff as long as you have five or more supplies. Athlete, Tenacious, Naturalist, Geology. Geology is not one she has. This actually would be okay for her. And Tenacious is an athlete perk that comes up a lot. Let's upgrade the shop once. We'll provide that to Anna, and then we can buy some books. We can buy two, we can buy two people books. So why don't we go for? I'm trying to figure out. Um, Hattis and Anna are the ones who first of all need the most help with speech, and secondly, um, I don't know, actually Hattis' speech is great. Never mind what I just said. We'll give her the Lamo book. <laughs> we'll go book of sadness, book of horrors. That doesn't seem bad. Everybody has, like, pretty okay defenses except Hattis. Well, I guess, actually, Maria. Whatever, we'll muddle through. I'm confident we will be fine. And actually, we could sell this and buy Hattis uh, a book. There we go. I'm confident that that is a good use of our resources. Then I think we just bank a little bit of research for next time. Yeah, that seems fine. Wow, we got really good rolls on our research outputs. Actually, that one was about average, but it had it had a couple high token payouts at the end, which made me feel like it was really good. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode of Renowned Explorers. Come back next time. We're headed back to Egypt, where I think we'll basically be okay. Fingers crossed. And we'll see you then.